Hello guys, it's Cray. <laughs> Welcome back. Today we are taking a look at the 1.6 electronic update for Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. Even though I created it, I, I'm going to be taking a little showcase of it. But really... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, uh, um, I, I'm, I'm schizophrenic, I have two personalities. Um, welcome back guys, um, I'm here to announce that the um, electronic update is finally out. Uh, I do this for every single major update and that is where I take a look at all the furniture. So we're going to be going over all of it today plus all the new stuff. So this is furniture lane here, let's let's head in. Let's head in. Ah, lo nice little entrance there. Uh, stick, to, stick to the video, stick to the video. Uh, so the first thing we have here is a cabinet and uh, a, a bedside cabinet and this is just a nice decorative storage area with a 3x3 grid in here we can store items in. We've got a nice table, we've got a chair which you can right click to sit in and then shift to get out and then we have a um, coffee table. We also have um, cobblestone alternatives if you don't like the wood one you can use cobblestone. A cool thing about the table is if we come over here uh, you can create it any size that you want and as you can see it adjusts automatically. We can also do that, we can add a bit coming off here like that and it just, it's its amazing. You can do that with the stone one as well. Um, next we have the cabinet and again this is just another um, decorative storage area. You open it up, you got a nice 5x3 grid to store your items in uh, and this would usually be used in a kitchen. Here we have the couches, and these come in five five colours, white, green, brown, red, and black. Um, so again, if you right click it, you can sit in it, you can sit in all of them. Woo! Whoops, don't go on that cabinet. Don't drop that, what? Alright, <laughs> uh, here. a cool thing about these couches as well, not many people know, is that you can place them however you want, so you can make like a nice corner one. We can go, oh, you can't go backwards like that, uh, but you can come around like this, go like that, and it looks awesome. It's cool. We can adjust however you want it to do. After the uh, couches, we've got a blind here. So if you right click it, it shuts it. If you right click it again, it opens it. This actually blocks out light. Same with the curtain here. Right click, shut it. Right click, open it, and blocks out light. Next we have the lamp and this is just a simple light source that you can put in your house um, and to actually make it work you actually have to power it by redstone or place it on a bedside cabinet. So we got a bedside cabinet in here and we got redstone. So if we pop it on top of a bedside cabinet, not that you can see it but it's turning off and on right now. Um, or we could put a redstone torch under it and it will turn off and on. A good way to hide um, the redstone torch is putting it down one block, putting the block above it and then the redstone lamp on top and then you shouldn't be able to see it. Yeah, it's cool. Next we have the fridge and what the fridge and, well this is the fridge and freezer. Um, the fridge allows you to store any items that you want in there and also the freezer is like a furnace but this does something different. This will actually freeze items, so if we grab this stuff out, so you need either a cooling pack or ice. Um, let's get rid of those other items. Let me just get rid of them real quick. If you grab some ice or cooling pack, and the stuff that you can freeze is a water bucket, lava bucket, rotten flesh, slime bowl, and poisonous potato. So we'll head into there, and you put the fuel in the fuel slot, and then you put the water bucket in to the... Uh, that slot there, I'm not sure what it's called, the uh, the queues, the queuing up slot. So we'll let that freeze and you get an ice from the water bucket, from the lava. You get obsidian from the rotten flesh. Now this is something quite useful and I think a lot of people like this about my mod. Uh, even though they haven't said anything about it, but it's a good alternative um, to then like farming or something like that. And you get flesh from that, put a slime bowl in. And you get a snowball, and the last one, the poisonous potato, this is pretty obvious, you'll get a normal potato. Next on the list, we have the oven and the oven overhead. So we'll take a look at the oven overhead here. Um, it looks very nice, it's got glowstone under here to give off light, and it actually does if it's night time. 
Um, the oven can cook any items um, without any fuel. I've actually adjusted it since the last update, so it's a lot slower now and not as OP, but um, doesn't doesn't require fuel still. So we'll get these items which you can burn. Oh, I mean, not burn, cook. So we'll stick them in there, and I fixed up the right-click glitch as well, so it's um, easier to put stuff in. And as you can see, it is taking a fair while to actually um, cook this food. So I'll leave that going, and we'll come back to it later on. Um, so here we have the hedges, and these are just um, practically the leaf blocks, but they look more um, aesthetically pleasing, they're not a full block. Um, so these can just go however you want, you can stack them on top as well, which is really nice. And they come in the four different leaf colours. Next we have the water fountain, oh no, the... Next we have the bird bath, and this is just a simple aesthetically pleasing piece of furniture you can put outside. Um, there is a little easter egg with it, but only some people know what it is. Uh, if you want to know what it is, check out uh, one of the update videos I did a while ago. Um, here we have the stone path, and again this is just a alternative than gravel because it, could, it doesn't look it doesn't look that good when you have like the full thing, and then here looks a, a lot better. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And as you can see, it is actually placing randomly as well, which is really good. So it doesn't um, look repeaty if that's even a word. Next we have the white fence, and a lot of people call it picket fence. I just named it white fence. Um, so this is practically. Um, the upgrade to the original fence, it's more aesthetically pleasing. Um, you see it in movies a lot, which is, um, I don't know, like on rich people's houses. It just looks a whole lot better than the default Minecraft fence, and it would suit your house a lot more. Next we have the tap, and the tap does have a function, so if we go ahead and right click it, you'll get a water block. But to actually um, utilise, I think that's the word, utilise this feature, um, you need a 3x3 three three water block source under the block it's on like that and then you put the um, tap oh you put the tap on top of it and then it will give you water awesome next we have the mailbox and this is quite an advanced thing i added into this mod and this allows players to give you a mail and these are actually private mailboxes so if someone else came along they can't actually open this up look at this chest here and i've got an envelope and a package and some diamonds. I'll show you what that hammer does later on. Um, so we'll open up this envelope and what you do is put your diamonds in, sign it, and then as you can see, mail from player 30. And all you simply have to do is shift, right click. Oh, we can't use it in creative. That's one thing um, I had to disable because it duplicated the um, item. So we'll go ahead, shift, right click, puts it into the mailbox, and as you can see, player from mail Play, mail from player 30 and you open it up and you see we've got some diamonds in there but you can't actually put them back in because you've already used this um, envelope. Same goes with the package but the package is just a bigger version so you've got six slots instead of two. Sign it and then pop it in there and we got some mail from me, myself because I got no friends. Oh no. Uh, I'm a loner. Alright. Um, so that's that. Now you might be wondering what the hammer does, and a lot of people get confused with this, and this is actually an admin tool, not um, in-game, it can't be crafted at all. And what it allows you to do is to unlock other people's mailboxes, so for instance, if you banned someone from your server, um, you would actually have to get this hammer to unlock it and destroy the block, because you can't destroy it any other way, um, as you can see. Um, you need to unlock it first to destroy it, shift and right click. Well, I'm the owner because I can, I can destroy it. Um, to unlock it normally, all you have to do is shift and right click. To lock it again, just shift and right click and now it's back to normal. As you can see, if I, um, I'll just grab that for a second. Um, if I unlock it and then break it, it'll, it will break. But if it's locked, um, it won't actually break. So the hammer... All you have to do is exactly the same as that, shift and right click, and it says forced mailboxes unlock, unlocked, and then you can go ahead and break it. Now, this is what everybody's been waiting for, the electronic update. I've spent a long time on this, I think weeks or months on this, um, live stream to live stream, uh, update log to update log, um, hours upon hours, days upon days, 
uh, months upon months, years upon years, centuries upon centuries, um, probably not that long, probably not even years, probably not even months, probably weeks upon weeks upon weeks. But anyway, you get the point. Um, so the first item that we added in was the TV. So the TV is a simple block and it acts like a TV. So if you go ahead and right click it. It's all I wait for the morning and it's the bad side and I take a deep breath and get real high and I scream to the top of my lungs. What's going on? No, this is boring. Oh shit. Oh no. Nyan Cat, what's happening? What is happening? Oh god. Ah! All right, we'll leave that alone. Um, next we have the printer, and this is a quite useful thing. Um, it kind of has been, I don't know, I would say it did kind of get taken over by the next update, but what I've instead added to it, well, what I've allowed you to do is actually copy enchanted books. Um, in the 1.7 update, you can't do that. You can only copy written books, but this allows you to copy enchanted books. So if we go ahead into this chest, we'll get our protection book, and that's just a book I was, just a normal written book. You can either power the, um, the printer with a black ink cartridge or an ink sack. So we'll open up the printer, stick our black ink cartridge in that slot there, then we'll pop our um, written book in the top there, and as you can see, it is uh, copying it. So you'll get two versions of this instead of one. We'll leave that uh, cooking, I mean printing for a second, and we'll go on with this um, uh, next thing here, which is the computer. Um, I'll leave that enchanted book there for now. So this is the computer, and when you open it up, it brings up Mine Bay. So Mine Bay is practically um, Minecraft spoofs, Minecraft's spoof of eBay, um, and it allows you to buy items. So what I've done is I've added all my furniture mod items in, but what you can also do is add your own custom ones in through the config, or if you're a modder, you can use the API. The API is the preferred way just because um, it supports changing block IDs. Um, so you can go through here, and you might be noticing what is this, um, this currency that we have. And this is actually a part of my Cray Tokens mod. So if you have this mod installed, you'll be able to use the Cray Tokens. Um, if you don't have it installed, it will use emeralds, which is more expensive, I would say. Um, so you can easily use, use, either use emeralds or silver tokens. So we'll get the silver tokens out. We'll see what we can buy. Uh, we'll get we'll get a nice oven. We need an oven. Hmm. Buy that. And as you can see, the money is gone and pops out the oven um, from the uh, mine bay. Head back to the printer, and as you can see, we've got two books now. And just to prove that they're the same, we'll see in there. Hello. And hello, so they're exactly the same. The enchanted book takes a long time, so I think it takes almost, I think it takes half a day to actually um, copy it, so I didn't want to waste all my time doing that, but um, you get the point, it will take a long time to actually copy just because it's enchanted. Next we have the stereo, and what the stereo is, is practically the jukebox plus. So this will already have all the um, records preset into it. So you go ahead and right click it. Awesome. This is probably my favorite song. <laughs> You're listening to Smooth Jazz. Smooth Jazz FM. Bring you the smoothest jazz of Jazz Smoothest. Smooth Yeah. And it's just got every single song on it. And to actually turn it off, all you gotta do is um, simply shift and right click and it will turn it off. Next we have the fire alarm. Now the fire alarm does exactly what it says and it detects if there is fire. So we'll open this chest up and we got a flint and steel. So if I like, put some fire here, you can hear that the fire alarm is going off and it's quite irritating. That's what a fire alarm does. And to simply stop it, all you got to do is right click it. 
And a cool thing about this is if we get out some redstone, um, this will actually give off a uh, redstone signal at the top of it. It only gives it off at the top, nowhere else. So um, we could put, say, a redstone lamp right there and it will power it if I put fire down here. There you go. And I'll turn that off. Awesome. Next we have the... This is going on for a long time, but there is a lot of furniture. Hope you guys are still watching. Next we have the ceiling light, and this is really nice. Um, I really like the design I came up with this. I had a lot of options to go with, and I came up with this one. So when you right-click it, um, it turns it on, and it gives a nice like glow effect on the outside of it. When you right-click it, it turns it off. Next we have the doorbell, and this was actually a little sneak peek in the um, the last version. Um, not many people know that this was actually supposed to be part of the electronic update. Um, it was in the mail update, but this was actually part of the electronic update. It was just a teaser. So if you right click it, now I can run. Snap! Right. Now I can run, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I can run. I don't know. D ding dong ditch or something like that. You could do that to your friends. That would be funny. And the last block we have on showcase today is is the uh, lonely electric fence. Now this does what it says. So if we go into uh, game mode uh, zero here, this is uh, quite dangerous. And if you are uh, if you want to protect something, um, I would suggest that you use this. So if I walk up to it, oh 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 oh, this does actually three hearts of damage. So Oh, almost died. Oh no, I died. Oh, what a shame. Oh no. Alright, there we go. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it wasn't too long. I'll probably cut it up a little bit. Um, so you can go ahead and download this mod. The link will be in the description. Um, leave a comment on the forum post if you like it, just to give it a little bump and get other people seeing it. And yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and I will see you guys next time. Bye.